this last dollar dance. The famous turf characters in Goshen, New York, investigating the mysteries of trotting racing before risking his bankroll on the Hamiltonian Classic. Hey, when do you put the saddle on that horse? We don't use it in the saddle. You can sell it. What's the difference between a trotter and a pacer? Well, a pacer goes with his front leg and his hind leg both the same size, where a trotter just goes the opposite. Oh, that's clear. Forget Dan for a moment and meet young Gibson White, his filly Rosalind, and his dad Ben, who drives her today. It was the father's gift of the horse to his son that made the boy fight to live when desperately ill. Dan's heard about the Whites. He decides to get inside info. Hello, Mr. White. That's Rosalind the favor, isn't it? That's her, and I think she's going to win. But Dan's a skeptical cuss, and he decides to check up with his friend, Governor Hoffman of New Jersey. Say, Governor, uh, who do you like? Uh, for sentiment, Rosalind. For business, Ed Lasseter. Ed Lasseter might do it. What is Ed Lasseter to say? You going to win today? I'll get a bet on you. 45,000 ruralites and city slickers watch the cream of the trotters parade, and as they get away, nearly everybody but Dan's roaring for old Ben as he lines Rosalind up with the leader. <laughs> Dan's horse falls behind as they hit the back stretch. Rosalind leaves. Nobody in the crowd's rooting harder than young Mr. White. Here a father and son story that outpaces fiction is being acted as old Ben at 62 drives for his boy at 20. Come on, Ed Lassen! On comes Rosalind, breaking the record. Old Ben's the only driver to win this classic twice, and he brings nearly $20,000 to his boy. Did you go on and No, I got all mixed up. I gave it to you. Sad day for Dan, but for the whites, the happiest of their lives. Father and son share in the perfect ending to a perfect racing drama. <laughs>